three. Can you answer the strike question? Three. No! See, something's wrong with you. I have one, two, three. That's I love one. this movie. Oh, you're okay. How's the lucky fin? Lucky. Let's see. Aww. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go to school this year? Now, this no is my favorite kind of movie. Five or six years. Come on, Dad. It's time for school. <laughs> uh, 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 One of Forgot my favorites. Oh. Do you want this anemone to sting you? Yes. Brush. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I just wanted to show you, because I was talking about how I'm trying to organize things. This is the stuff that I've been cutting. And, um... In between all breakables, there's that stuff. Yeah, see? So, um, I am going to make sure, and then I'm going to put a towel over all of that when I'm on the road. Also, and I've just started, so I will have another update. Because I'm trying to work this out, really. Um... I put baskets in here so that, and that's empty, but I will have stuff like coffee mugs or whatever. And everything has got towels, the breakables are all going to be fine. All going to be fine. Oh, I've got um, paper towels, dog food, toilet paper, my shakers. Yep, things can change again, but anyway, there's towels in there mostly. And I'm not even done with that. Oh, sorry. In there, it's part of the uh, things I take for the kitchen. Yeah, things are going, moving along, moving along. I'm going to do uh, more videos. This is my pots and pans, but I think I'll be rearranging that with some stuff from my my um, my seasonings and pantries will all go into a a basket. <laughs> anyway, yeah, things are moving along here. I'm going to be going to the Goodwill and getting rid of. I got a really good book here, but I don't need it. Yeah, I mean, that's a heavy book, and really, everything's online, so I'm going to give it to the Goodwill, along with an extra curling iron, and I'm not sure about the dog thing. I don't like to keep too much food out now, because, you know, that's like the ants, possible, can come in. <laughs> anyway, just a quick video to show you that I am in the process of lightening things up, putting things down. I've got, uh, this has been um, museum putty down. <laughs> Let me see, this is my new light, I'll show you. There we go. Yeah, that's the light I had put in. And things are going. This is all museum putty, the flowers, the soap. I'm going to put that up with some Velcro. Yeah, things are moving along. This I'm going to empty this all out. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. It is about 1.30 on Sunday. Labor Day weekend, 2015. Hope you're all having a great day, great weekend. Um, mine basically is just getting things organized. I've been really good. Um, I have been putting, you know that, um, well, I'll show, ah, darn it, I should have brought it. The stuff that you buy that's rubbery, that's rubberized and you can cut it and put it. Well, in between every breakable dish, I've got that rubbery, no stick, no, you know, no slide stuff. And I've been rearranging all of those cabinets now. And I'm really getting, I'm getting into the putting things away and how it's going to work. And uh, yeah, going for it. And then um, this morning, well, I have a, a few things I want to say. Um, a lot of you out there don't, you know, follow the hangouts or anything like that. And many of you do. 
um, one of the things is that um, when I moved my RV to this spot right here from um, a few miles away, and I had just gotten the RV, so I wasn't really, um, I was really fearful of, you know, getting behind the wheel with and doing it, picking it up at the, uh, at the place that I bought it, bringing it to my house, parking it, and then from there, backing it into this site, which I will tell you, I did all by myself, backed into this space one time, didn't have to go back and forth. Of course, I did have somebody from the park directing me, but I could follow the directions fine. So when some people say that they, you know, that I lost out because I didn't get their help, maybe it's a good thing because um, it did, it taught me to, to be self-reliant and I'm, I'm really glad I did that actually. So you know who you are, but um, it's okay. I thank you for it because I didn't need your help and I really never did call you and, and tell you to help me really you know um, sure it would be nice to have somebody who knows more about engines and and pulling and trucks you know then just be by myself but I wound up with a friend we did it together she was there to to basically support me and I'm fine about that so that's that I did it and I'm gonna pull out of here and I'm gonna get on the highway and I'm gonna drive that my beautiful home on wheels, Christine, all the way to where I stopped that night. And I actually, bat well, I'm going to do pull-throughs on, on my journey. But I'm going to do a pull-through. I'm going to level the thing out, plug it in, and do fine. Do fine. Yeah. I was listening to um, The Morning Chooch, which is Rosie O'Kelly's channel. And her and Missy Jen were talking about something that hit home and that is that once you know before I earned before I even thought about owning a motor home or a travel trailer I did have a pop-up and um, but I never gave much thought of having one again once we sold it and we were done with it so before that you know when you get on the road you don't really you know once in a while you'll see a really good looking motor home pulling a pretty little a tow car and you know I I was always interested but now now that I'm an RVer I get on the road I see class B vans I go yeah someone's living in that one that looks cool or a class A that has you know be some something about it that's just beautiful and I do love driving around my RV park and checking out everybody's travel trailers RVs a lot of fifth wheels a lot of everything and um, you learn a lot just by being around the people that live like this like tire covers if you're gonna park your RV for a long time you need tire covers so that your tires don't rot and it makes sense and of course who would have thought of that until you know you learn it so the RV community on YouTube has taught me everything everything so it's really been excellent you know and really fun and I just um, my life has changed <laughs> it's for the better every time you go through changes it's for the better yes I lost a husband and I'm now widow and did I think I'd be one a year ago two years ago I mean hell no Did I get through my year and a half? It's not a year and a half yet. Actually, it's about a year. He died May, May 6th, 2014. So anyway, um, long enough now to really feel strong again. I feel like I've got a fire under my ass that I had when I was, you know, 30. When I was moving around playing music and having fun that way and now I'm gonna be an RVer and uh, create art and enjoy my life and I don't know what's ahead but that's kind of the cool part of this I'm gonna miss the heck out of my friends here 
but thank God for, um, you know, YouTube and Facebook and, and phones. I will not lose, I don't lose contact with friends. They can, I have friends, I just talked to Seattle yesterday, beautiful friend Chris, who I will see, and she knows that. I sang at her wedding, and the funny thing is, that just a little story on Chris. I sang at her and her husband's wedding with my guitar yesterday, 45 years earlier. I sang as they walked down the aisle, and I got this feeling to call them. I had no idea it was their anniversary. Isn't that something? So when I talked to Chris, she said, guess what? Today is our anniversary. It would have been 45 years that, you know, that our wedding, that you were there singing. So you never know. You know, when you make a friend in life, don't let them go. Pick up the phone or do the Facebook or whatever way. Send them something. Keep in touch with the people that have your heart. It pays off. It really does. I just love my friends and all my new friends, too. Thank you again. Have a great day. Love you. Take care. Thumbs up.